sure if you can tell I have to get a little closer but it's cheetah print the issue is that it's too short I really want it to be a lot closer to the knee so I got some fringe some black and gold fringe and I'm glue it down and then I've got some black sequins that I'm gonna use to hide to make a new border so that is the plan so to complete this project you will need some e6000 glue fringe, a sequin border, a towel, and some q-tips. All of these items can be picked up at a general craft store and last but not least, an imagination. So the process is pretty simple. You're going to start by laying the edge of the dress on a towel so that the glue doesn't leak through to the other side. Then you're just going to place a little bit of the E6000 glue down on the edge of the dress and then gently put the fringe over top of the glue and lightly press it down. You don't want to press down too hard because then the glue will leak everywhere, but you don't want to press too lightly because then the fringe won't stick. So here I'm going up closely and you can just kind of see I'm spreading that glue out with a Q-tip. This is optional. I just thought it made it a little bit neater. And then there I go, I'm lightly tapping it. And then also I kind of use my scissors a little bit because I noticed that some of the Q-tip fibers were sticking. So this is kind of just trial and error, but a Q-tip works just fine if that's all you have. And then just moving on throughout the rest of the dress, you're gonna place a little bit of glue, spread it out, and place the fringe on top. So now I'm starting on my second layer of fringe and you want to make sure that your first layer of glue is dry before you do so. The process is basically the same as before. Just put some glue down on the border of that fringe, spread it out, and then put the black. I wanted to have more of the black visible, which is why I did the gold fringe first, then the black, so that the gold just peeks through a little bit and is an accent, but the black is the focal. And unfortunately, I deleted the part of the video where I added the sequin border, but the process is exactly the same as it was for the two fringe pieces. You just put the glue down, put the border on top, press down lightly, and let it dry. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but I got this dress from my beloved clothes mentor. So as you can see, the receipt on the top right is the original. The dress was $128, never worn, and I got it for 16 bucks. Okay, so I was having some difficulties with lighting and things like that. So this is what, this is how I'm gonna film the final product. So this is the dress. As you can see, so I added the fringe and then I've added the, the sequin border. And as you can see, it lengthens the dress quite a bit, like three, like two, three inches. And it just makes it perfect to go out in. I like my stuff, like I said, to the knee and it's hitting to the knee. So that's, that's really good. And I also wore this 
to um, Black Swan. I went to Black Swan about a month or so ago. So I'll insert some pictures here, maybe here, and a few little boomerangs and videos that I did. But I love how this turned out. It's so cute. And one thing, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I did not notice that it's cheetah print. And if you've been following me, you know that I just have this thing about animal print. Like I just absolutely love animal print. I love how it turned out and if you like how this turned out comment below and let me know and also comment what other videos you would like to see me do what other videos you would like to see me do DIY hair so on so forth I would be happy to do it so that's it bye